So in today's video, it's all about product photography and how to create really cool graphics using Canva. And I'm gonna show you how to do all of that in today's video. So please stay tuned and do hit like if you enjoy and you learn something from this video. I would really appreciate your support. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Farah. We talk about building business on Amazon on this channel. If you are interested in that, then please do subscribe. So yeah, this is what we're doing today. We are going to take some photos, DIY style, and I'm gonna show you how to edit them in uh, Lightroom, adjust their lighting so the product looks in its best color possible. Then I'm gonna show you how to create some graphics in Canva for your Amazon product. I'm gonna use the scarves as example to show you how you can create really cool graphics all by yourself just using Canva, it's an amazing software. That's all I'm covering in today's video, so please stay tuned because great product photography is one of the biggest factors that help your conversion rate on Amazon. That's what today's video is all about, how to optimize, maximize, make the product look its best, and so you can get more sales. So let's get started. So this is the wall we're gonna be using. <laughs> the product is already up. I'm just gonna take a couple of photos and then I'm gonna show you how you can edit them in Canva. And before that, we're gonna use Lightroom. So let's get started. I'm gonna switch a couple of different looks for all the scarves. You can see the product is all set up. I'm just gonna quickly show you how I do it. So this is the second setup. I have just put like a white back sheet underneath and then I'm gonna take some pictures. I don't know if you guys can hear me, but if I had a model, this is how I would like to shoot it with like model's hair, like all showing and stuff. But this is such a nice scarf and such good quality and it won't be irritating. And this is a great uh, use for this really cool product. And you can just tie it at the back of your head. But obviously, I'm not the best model for this. But if I had a model, this is what I would do. But anyway, like I said, you've got to work with what you have. And we've got some couple of really good photos. And now we're gonna to go to my screen and I will show you um, how to edit these, color correct them on um, Lightroom. We're gonna use Lightroom and then we're gonna use Canva. If you just want to get Canva, you can do color correction in there too. But I will just show you both options. So let's um, get to my screen, I'll show you now. So this is Canva. I just wanted to show you before we start uh, editing. So these are different templates and features available in here. You can learn uh, how to use this in your own time. There are courses and all these resources available here. If you just go into the course sec section, you will see um, how you can create your own brand using Canva and the resources available in here, like um, stock photos, graphics, elements, you know, I just gave you a bit of a taster of it. The pricing is, uh, I'm on Canva Pro, which is $8.99 per month and you get the background remover feature with this which is so important and plus all the stock photo that is available with this it is so important to create all the brand content for amazon and i just use it all the time so i totally recommend it so this is the final look of the image that i want so let me just take you to the grid and you can see that the difference between an unedited image and edited image is you know huge We'll just load up the editing tools and you can see if you just browse the profiles, you can see that um, there are different options here. So I just like to go straight into the, the modern tab and I select modern 01 as the profile and it really brightens up the colors. And then I am just going to go back to the main um, menu of the editing tools. There are some couple of others. Like the, these are a bit too Instagrammy artsy, so I am not going to choose them. We want the product to look as close as possible. I'll show you these presets in a bit, um, but let's just go to the main manual settings. So I want to increase the exposure here a little bit. Uh, so let's just take it up a notch and see. Um, as you can see, the, the image is looking more airy and brighter. So I am going to do exactly this just play around with this these settings until i'm happy i'm just going to increase the whites a little bit because that m makes the image really pop um but that's what you need to do you need to keep playing with these settings until you're happy with what you're uh trying to achieve so 
I usually change the exposure, the temperature and the vibrance and the whites. These four settings I usually touch. So I'm just going to change the vibrance here. Just make the colors a little bit more brighter. And I think that's it. I'm done. I'm not going to touch it anymore. I'm just going to show you the presets, like I said. So these are like colorways you can choose from. Like you can brighten things up even more. If you just wanted to use the, you know, iTrum's um, default settings or high contrast, you can see like the difference when I click these and it really um, changes. Like when you press Vivid, it's like filters on your iPhone. It's that sort of thing. They call it presets. iPhone calls it filters. You just need to make note of all the settings that you have changed, like exposure, whites, temperature, vibrance. And just write down the numbers and then you just need to paste it, those same settings to all the images you want to edit. It's going to create a custom dimensions image, so a 3000 by 4500 pixels. And uh, after 1500 by 1500 pixels, uh, it activates the zoom on Amazon. So you can really zoom into the image. So I am, um, so this is going to be a very high quality image on Amazon, this graphic. The images are uploading to Canva. It's all web-based, so that's really cool. Like, you don't really have to save your work. It's like it's saving on the cloud at the same time. So don't you don't really use lose your work. So I will just expand this, fit to the size that I need it to be. And pretty much this is your first image done. I'm just going to remove the background which is a really great tool in Canva. It makes it a doddle and it doesn't decrease the quality of the image. It will still remain a high quality image, which will people will be able to zoom into. So there you go. Background removed. It's perfect 100% white background that Amazon requires. I'm just going to show you how you can crop images. Um, so but first I need to create um, a square selection. Okay, I've got this and now I'm going to drag one of my square images I uploaded. So let's just drag that in here. Okay, so this is the crop feature. You so this is how we are going to crop this image. You just adjust the, the crop section to exactly where you want it to be. And there you go, just press done and it's done. Here are some of the filters available inside Canva. Like I said, you can do uh, <clears throat> sort of editing in here, but it's not as good as Lightroom. As you can see, this is more of a um, graphic style and not really color correction. So I'm just going to leave this for now. But I think the background remover is the best feature of all because I used to spend ages removing backgrounds and getting them perfectly white. So if you were to create an actual graphic, a simple graphic, I'm just going to show you all the other tools that are available in Canva, which are so cool. Like you can spend a long time just playing around with all these different features and create really cool graphics for yourself. So I'm just going to show you some of the tools that are available. So you, you can go into elements and uh, you can create use these arrows to create and talk about features visually instead of just writing them in the bullet points section because when people are more visual they they like if they're quickly browsing you know this is very easy to see so you can just point to the scarf and you can add a text box so i'm just going to add a little text box here Oh, it's tiny. I'm going to have to change the size so we can actually see the text. And you can just write, um, I'm just going to write it down. This can be used, you double as a face covering or as a neck warmer. As you can see, like you can see, you create all these cool graphics using text and elements in Canva. I hope you found this video useful and have learned how to create professional professional photographs all by yourself. There is so much you can do with Canva, get so creative with the graphics to really set your product listing apart. Next week I'm going to show you how you can upload products to Amazon in no time at all. So do subscribe and I will see you next week. Bye!